I transferred here as an eighth grader back in the fall of 1988. And um, I really, really loved my experience here. One of the things that really stood out to me was advising. One of the things that really stood out to me was the academic rigor that was absent from the school I came from. Um, also, with regard to the Northridge Middle School, was the sense of belonging, the sense of being part of something. Classes were small enough to where you could really feel that you knew everybody and knew them well enough to feel at home, to feel that you belong there. We focus on trying to, one, for obviously preparation for high school. And as a history teacher, English teacher, religion teacher, one of the things I focus on is writing. When you look ahead at the educational future for these boys, when you get to be 18, 19, your first year of college, you don't do tests, you do writing. And that's the most the biggest emphasis that you have. Therefore, one of the things we do in middle school is try to have writing all across the board. Making sure the kids are actually putting pen to paper in full thoughts, full paragraphs, full essays, that kind of thing is one thing we do in the curriculum. Other thing we do is make sure that it is challenging enough but not unapproachable. That is, obviously that's a balance, obviously that's threading a needle, but we're able to do it. We're able to have where people achieve and they feel like they've achieved through hard work, not achieved because it's handed to them. One of the most challenging tasks that we have at Northridge is the selection of our faculty members. Our teachers are highly prepared educators who above all have highly defined standards and are more than willing to share knowledge and offer our students the best opportunities for their formation as great men. We're the hardest working faculty in, <laughs> in the Chicago area. I think one of the things we do is, I think you see people working hard. You see people going the extra mile. There's almost nobody leaving at 3.15 when school ends. There's almost nobody. People are almost always here at 4.30 and after. 